What's up everyone, my name is David Arroyo and in this video I will be coloring over some of the awesome line art from one of my concept art students called Arno Kosmans. We will be looking at the process, I'll be maybe saying a word or two about it, uh, but I will also take this opportunity in order to talk about what's been going on in these last few months, why I've been absent from YouTube as I've been extremely busy, and also talk about maybe a few videos that are coming up because I do have a lot of content planned for the coming near future. Right, so let's dive right in so that we can start talking about all that good stuff. Okay, so the uh, l coloring that we're looking at right now uh, is of two women that are underwater. Uh, the drawing uh, or line art was made by Arno Kosmans, as I uh, mentioned before, so it's one of my concept art students. And I told him that I would color it after the course uh, once he would complete the course. So here you go, that's his line art. Uh, very detailed, uh, no additional line weights, just very classic. Uh, to make it easier, we're going to flip it to the side like I'm doing right here, and then you can actually see more of uh, how the um, coloring was done. So the coloring was done in Procreate, and I used uh, watercolors from Max Packs for this. I will leave a link in the descriptions below as to where you can get these uh, brushes. They are not free, uh, but they are absolutely amazing if you like to do uh, watercolor work. Uh, so me, I really like watercolors, uh, especially for comics. And that's also the way you should look at this uh, coloring process uh, for this particular drawing. It's more as if I were doing it for a frame in a comic book. Okay, so Arno uh, also loves comics. He's very much into comics. Uh, almost all of his work uh, throughout the um, school year was based on comic type of art style. Um, so that's really the style that you should be looking. So don't look at it as a like final concept art illustration type of thing, uh, because then, you know, I would have pushed a bit further. I would have most likely gotten rid of the lines. Um, and, you know, there's there's more that could have been done, obviously. But hey, this was done in four hours. And for a comic book, this is perfect. I mean, for, for a single panel uh, inside a comic book, you know, you don't need uh, more than uh, this for what you'll see. Also, at the end of the video, I'll show what it looks like without the lines so that you can get an idea of how, for example, you could push this further and make it more look like a concept art piece um, in the traditional sense, I, w I guess. Right. So um, then let's have a quick look uh, about all these things that are happening and why I've been absent. Well, it's very simple, really. Uh, I've been, you know, these last three months, uh, I, I give the concept art course, I had about, I think, 14 students uh, made it towards the final phase of the course. So there's three phases. Uh, and the third is the final one where they get to do their final projects and they do a project uh, as a collective and they do you know, like like a group project where you are sit in a group of three or four uh, students and in uh, they also have an individual project uh, where they get to design characters environments uh, props all that kind of stuff so um, in this case uh, you know, I was monitoring and guiding and supervising and having a whole bunch of one-to-ones for three months, you know, because also let's not forget this uh, virus pandemic global thing, coronavirus broke out. And, you know, so that made everyone have to work from home uh, because, you know, we could no longer be, you know, in, in, in big spaces. So, I mean, the course continued but we had to make a lot of modifications. I had to make a lot of, you know, I had to adapt a lot of things uh, for the online course uh, because we went from n normally this concept art course, you know, we, we have a we have a space for that. You know, we go to this educational facility in Antwerp and, you know, we all come together every day and I teach there in the class and it's really fun. But because of the coronavirus and everyone around the world having to be in lockdowns and all that type of stuff, well, you know, then we had to adapt and do all this online stuff. So that took a lot of time, uh, kept me quite busy. I had to be creative as to how we would do all this stuff. And then, yeah, I, you know, ended up uh, following up a lot of students online. Um, and so that took a lot of time, especially towards the end uh, when they were about to hand in their exams, which was about a week or, yeah, almost two weeks ago is when they finished. 
uh, and they handed everything in. But of course, you know, you're, you're constantly looking, making sure that all the, you know, all the artwork is okay. You know, you go over some last points to see what to focus on and so forth. So that kept me quite busy. So that's that explains why I've not been too active on YouTube. Now, the second part of this uh, is, okay, so what's coming? Because now I have time to spend, um, you know, on, on my YouTube video, on my YouTube channels again. Um, and so I have lots of content uh, to uh, release. Okay, so there is going to be another video of um, another collaboration with another student from my class uh, called Laura. Uh, she did a really cool background in uh, Blender, like a, like a 3D model of an entire like a building, building like, you know, it's kind of like a little house. And this was part of her group project, which she also, by the way, did with uh, Arno Kosmans and uh, Lisa van Velden. Uh, so they worked together uh, to make this really cool project. And she did a background in Blender. And, you know, I told her, look, if you provide me the final line art for that, I'll do the coloring. Of course, not for points during the course. Of course, this was <laughs> provided to her after the course. Uh, so that she could, um, you know, see what else she could do uh, with all the colors and all that stuff. So there's a video on that that's coming. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to be covering in Blender uh, character content creation. Um, and there's going to be some more stuff with Unreal. So lots and lots and lots of ideas. Anyways, here, this is the final result of the drawing. Uh, as I said, here I am removing the line. So you can see, I mean, this is the basic, you know, the basis of, of, a, of a final um, digital painting that you can work with. And this is how it's supposed to be presented, you know, on, on the um, side, in, like in portrait mode. And um, there you go. Here you can see the line art from Arno Cosmans again. And this is the final result, and I hope you like it. And so there you have it, everyone. I hope that you liked the coloring process. I hope that you liked Arno Cosmans' awesome line work. And if you do, as usual, you can always leave a like and subscribe and like that you can stay updated for the upcoming videos. <laughs> right. So you guys take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you guys soon, all right?